<coughs> Good morning, everyone. Dev from the Airsoft headquarters here. Uh, yeah, I got a gas mask on. At least keep me a little bit safe from, you know, because people are buying hospital masks, so let's get the gas masks. No. No, this won't work. It's not an airborne. It's just a regular virus. Everything is fine. Shit, as of right now, operations are 100% normal. Other than maybe cleaning the counters a little bit more often than usual. But other than that, we're all good to go here. Um, yeah, there's really nothing new. Oh, shh. There is something new. Wait. And we sold the other one. We sold the other one. So, yesterday, so Friday morning, we received the KWA order. I had regular CQB, a VM4, yep, a VM4A1, a Mod 1, and a Mod 2, and a T6, one of the Ronin ones. So that's five total rifles that I received. Yesterday, I, I personally sold two of them. The third one must have sold after I left because this was full and I had ordered enough to where I would have one of the mod rifles in back, one of the QRF rifles in back. But now I'm, now I'm out. So now I have the M4 CQB and the VM for a one. Damn it! Well, it's gonna be another week, week and a half before I can get another KBA order in. So I found this guy hidden somewhere in the back. We had ordered like three or four of them, and then I don't know if we just didn't have the room before, but that specific model wasn't out. The CZ Shadow, which is that guy right there. So this is the CO2 one. This is the older, the older CZ pistol overall. Um, CO2, same type of CZ functionality. So it's actually got the uh, higher, the risen suppressor ready iron sights. If my camera can focus, there we go, somewhat. So yeah, threaded orange tip. So if anyone wants these specifically from the CZ family with CO2 magazines, we do have them. Also, if you have not watched our stress test video of the Tornado 2, um, that was nothing really official. It was kind of us like, hey, let's beat the shit out of the Tornado 2. And then we just got it on camera and so that's what happened. And so that's actually, and so that's actually this one right here. So, let's see if my camera can focus. The edges here are pretty chewed up. And that's from smacking against the concrete stuff. Label itself is pretty worn. And again, the bottom, tint that wall, and just kind of texturing over time. Otherwise, it's solid, it still works. Um, so I have no, I have no qualms or issues for doing that. So overall, a solid grenade. Uh, we've shot several BBs through it just to make sure that it still works, and it did. So, um, and I was hitting this thing pretty hard. I was giving it my all with the barrel test. So these things are really solid. So thank you, Airsoft Innovations, for making a solid, solid grenade. We may have to do a part two of that video just to see if we can get it to break. While I'm waiting for that, uh, I put in two more orders on Wednesday for other stuff, uh, which are two things that we will do a review video on, but I'm not gonna tell you what they are yet. I'll give you a hint. We went over both of these items in previous videos on this channel. Um, 
Just like a quick little sneak peek at them. So there you go, that's your hint. You guys have already seen these items, but I'm actually gonna get them in and we're gonna actually do a review video on. So. Ah, that was just me, I just walked into it. Gross. What's up guys? So I'm done with the Airsoft Arena. It's Sunday, so the day after, the day that this video is going up. Woo, I know how to intro a video. Or at least this part of the video. But for you guys, for future reference, they're building a wall extension here. So if you were to come in through the main doors here, which is really sweet because they restricted the amount of space here. Yeah, there's the door. We're gonna enter in on the right side here. So it looks like they're gonna put in another door. So it's gonna be door, 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 I guess another door, maybe, or not, I don't know. That goes up to apartments. You guys don't need to go there, down to the airsoft arena. So that's gonna be a new thing for you guys. So that's gonna be the new thing for you guys to watch out for is gonna be those door things now, whatever they're putting in. And you guys already saw already, but we put in the plexiglass back behind me. which is a very, very clear viewing point of what's happening on the field. All right, so back here at the shop, was at the arena. It was a little too loud for me to do any sort of talking there, but I do have the guys that are getting ready for Operation Stonebreaker. Carl is going to have my GoPro, so he's gonna be able to record stuff from there. We're getting all the gear set up here at the shop. Guys are gonna be leaving Thursday, so we'll have all that gameplay for next weekend. Not, no, not the weekend, but the, the following one. I think you guys get what I mean. Anyway, um, we're still gonna be open here for the next foreseeable future until someone actually declares stores actually closing down, something like that. So we'll s still be here. And actually, this is how you guys will probably be greeted by us. So yeah, you guys take care, stay healthy, and play yourself while you can. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next weekend. Bye.